Good morning, friends in St. Augustine. It is a great and beautiful day. God will bless and surprise us today. As one community united in God's love, He is inviting us to set our hearts aflame. Let us make the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At the time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At the time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to the many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them, and blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection. Jesus is perfectly direct and honest. In fact, he obviously speaks nothing but pure truth. The hard part is that at times the truth can hurt. We can go through life thinking that we are healthy and well, spiritually speaking, and as a result, we can tend to think that we do not need the truth Jesus came to preach. In that case, we are confronted with our sin of any truth we struggle with. We can be offended by Christ. Reflect today upon how completely open you are to the full truth of the gospel. Are you ready and willing to listen to everything Jesus proclaims? Are you ready and willing to accept the full gospel in your life? Let the Advent be a time when you deepen your resolve to listen and heed all that our Lord wants to say to you. And if you see yourself offended in any way, know that the area of offense is most likely the area you need to work on the most. Let us now pray the prayer to Our Lady of Good Counsel. God of heavenly wisdom, you have given us Mary, Mother of Jesus, to be our guide and counselor. Grant that we may always seek her motherly help in this life and so enjoy her blessed presence in the life to come. May the Holy Spirit fill us with reverence for God's creation and compassion for all God's children. May our labors of love on earth enhance the reign of God, and may God's gifts of faith and living hope prepare us for the fullness of the world to come. Amen. Our Mother of Good Counsel, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.